Treasury Secretary Jack Lew recently announced Harriet Tubman will appear on the $20 bill. Tubman famously escaped slavery, worked the Underground Railroad, and later became a key figure in abolishing slavery. Andrew Jackson was the original face of the 20. Many are happy to see him go, including Cherokee Nation Principal Chief Bill John Baker. He joins us now from Oklahoma. Thanks for joining us, Chief Baker. Absolutely my pleasure. A lot of people were happy to say goodbye to slave owner Andrew Jackson, but from a Native perspective, you have your own thoughts on why you don't want to see Jackson on the currency. What are your thoughts on this? Well, you know, Andrew Jackson, uh, against the Supreme Court ruling, uh, removed the Cherokee uh, from our homelands uh, permanently, and we would have preferred that he be permanently removed from the $20 bill. He forcibly relocated Native Americans, um, leading to the death of thousands. You called this the darkest time in the Cherokee Nation's history. Well, not only the Cherokee Nation's history, but I think it was probably the darkest time in the U.S. history. Andrew Jackson's um, Indian removal policy prompted what Cherokee people call the Trail of Tears, as we just mentioned, because of the devastation they faced as they were forced to migrate. Many Cherokee migrants faced hunger, disease, exhaustion, and death. Do you think this makes the Syrian refugee crisis especially relatable to Natives? The, uh, I, I really haven't uh, considered uh, the, the Syrian uh, refugee as far as the, uh, uh, you know, as it relates to the, the Native American tribes that uh, were moved, forcibly moved off of their land at bayonet point uh, to uh, a, uh, a strange land uh, is not really the quite the same thing as deciding to leave uh, for uh, uh, political or, or for strife, uh, you know, trying to get out of danger's way. Uh, we were quite comfortable in the East. Uh, we were, you know, had owned plantations. We owned all the, uh, all the businesses, all the taverns, all the mills, all the uh, uh, the uh, ferries, uh, you know, we had our own schools. We, you know, our white neighbors were paying us to educate their kids. So I, I just don't see that it's the same. You recently released a statement about Andrew Jackson saying his legacy was never one to be celebrated and his image on our currency is a constant reminder of his crimes against natives. Um, is, I just heard this. Is it true that some natives put their $20 bills in their wallet in a way that avoids looking at Jackson's face? The, uh, uh, there's Cherokees that uh, won't even use a $20 bill. Really? So, uh, yeah. You also said the image of Harriet Tubman and her legacy represents values everyone can be proud of. Um, a lot of people are commenting on the story online, saying they'd like to see a Native American on a bill one day. Uh, what Native would you pick? Our first choice would be Wilma Mankiller, the first uh, female Native American chief of the Cherokee Nation, principal chief. And why is that? Uh, she was a, a great leader for not only the Cherokee Nation, but all of Indian country. And she came at a time that uh, brought a great deal of awareness uh, to, uh, to the country about Native American tribes when we were all trying to uh, uh, reestablish and, uh, and come to the forefront. And uh, we have grown by leaps and bounds ever since uh, Wilma uh, got on the Johnny Carson show and uh, let them know that we were out here. All right, Chief Baker, such a pleasure having you on with us today. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Have a good day.